Local universities react after 13 people were killed today on a college campus. Right now, Texas colleges and universities are in the middle of implementing a brand new policy allowing guns into college classrooms. All public universities and community colleges are required to do so under a new state law. But as KXAN's Phil Prazen reports, today's shooting has prompted a new round of discussion over whether guns should be welcome on college campuses. Please, to the politicians of Texas, listen. I to think the it would just create like a bad, like atmosphere, like a sense of like being unsafe. I feel that it falls under our constitutional right, and I don't want the government, the Texas government, to strip me of that right. And At the exact time protesters held signs on UT Austin's campus, a gunman injured 20 and killed 13 at an Oregon community college putting laws all over the nation under scrutiny again. In a sense, we've had campus carry for a few years now. Two sessions ago, lawmakers allowed licensed gun owners to bring them onto college grounds and into their cars. But this session, lawmakers wanted to go further and allow licensed gun owners to bring them into buildings. ACC, with most colleges, wrote letters against it. And it almost didn't happen until lawmakers gave schools the power to mark off gun-free zones. ACC objected to it because of their child care center on their Eastview campus. But ACC, along with all other community colleges, have to follow the law in the summer of 2017. Getting rid of gun-free zones is something Eric Bruno from Concealed Campus thinks will make colleges safer. The faster you have someone respond with a firearm, the, the less damage is done. The thing is, this debate is not going away. Next session, activists plan to convince lawmakers we should get rid of handgun licenses altogether. And Robert and Shannon, that push will impact our students on our college campuses. All right, Phil, thank you very much. This new gun policy is especially sensitive for those at the University of Texas. Nearly five years ago to the day, an active shooter terrorized UT's campus, shooting at people but failing to hurt anyone before killing himself inside of a campus building. And in 2011, officials released this report detailing what went right and what went wrong. It applauds UT's quick response to send out an alert. Within seven minutes, 54,000 people got a text about the active shooter on campus. But the report also found there were some communication issues. There was confusion over the term clearing the building. Some agencies understood that to mean evacuate, while others thought it meant to secure the building. UT police and APD dispatch centers also had conflicting messages and neither took charge. You can see this full report online at KXAN.com.